I found what I've been looking for in myself Found a life worth living for someone else Never thought that I could be, I could be Happy, happy Man, I ate um, some scalloped potatoes a little while ago and yeah, oh, mm, damn good mm. I'm telling you, potatoes are good at any moment Fucking, uh, like tomorrow morning I'm, I'm wanting like potato and egg tacos for breakfast Put some fucking cheese and ketchup on those And have either my glass of sweet tea or some vanilla iced coffee. Mm, mm, mm. I love trash. Mm, mm, trash, trash. Yum, yum, yum. I'm also been thinking about uh, wings. Like I'd bought myself some boneless wings, and I want to eat them tomorrow for lunch. You ever just have a meal you're looking forward to, and it gives you like a reason to live? Yeah, mine's mine's boneless wings. I've been thinking about turkey legs too, like those uh, big ass ones you get from a carnival or something, or Disneyland. Do they still do? Turkey legs at Disneyland or Legoland? Man, I'd rather go to Legoland. Legoland's better. It's for boys. And I wonder how um how a flamingo leg would look if you cooked it. Like, would it be all long, like super long to your mouth, and just have the littlest amount of meat at the end of it? Uh, that makes me laugh. <laughs> makes me laugh imagining it. I don't know. It'd be funny. Speaking of birds, I remember uh, when I worked for Walmart. Right, uh, it was when televisions were changing to HD. And they, the government was like, oh, people's old TVs weren't going to work with, I don't know, the new frequency or whatever. So the government was like giving out those converter boxes. Y'all remember that? And they were like 40 bucks and you were allowed to get two free per household. And this, uh, I remember this, this old lady had came in and got, and got the two she could get. And I guess she's, I guess I sounded like I knew about electronics, right? Oh, I worked in the electronics section or whatever. And she asked me to go to her house that was like kind of behind the Walmart and connected for her. And I think she offered me like, I don't know, 50 or 70 bucks for my time. So I was like, yeah, I'll go. I went after work or on my day off. I don't really remember. Sometime. Sometime around then. And while I was uh, connecting her shit, she offered me like a, a glass of homemade lemonade. And I said, no, thank you. Because I started thinking this was some like law and order type episode bullshit and she was gonna drug me and traffic me to someone else for my organs or take advantage of me you know some weird old lady white woman shit and also i'm I'm not a big fan of lemonade so yeah i just for that reason i said no to yeah i'm trying to remember <laughs> i'm trying to remember what has the, has that have to do with birds that's why i even started talking about she was an old bird i guess does that make sense i don't know yeah i remember i remember driving through the neighborhoods behind the walmart uh, there was just like wild peacocks roaming around in people's yards. It's crazy shit. Like peacocks look like real life Pokemon, you know? They're just out there being beautiful, but they're probably like emus and shit, and they'll just attack you. Ugh, fucking emus. It's not me, but great man. 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 Do 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 do. Dude, ticks are fucking scary, man. Like how small those bugs are and the way they stick to something's skin and just suck all the blood from it and get all rowdy, big and fat, full of blood, like engorged. And then they can just give you some fucked up disease that like fucks up your brain or some tick bites you and can make you allergic to red meat. What the fuck is that? That's fucking scary. It's some horror movie shit. I don't know why they made a horror movie about that. Like... One day you'll feel a little bite when you go and try to eat a steak. You're fucking projectile vomiting and exploding diarrhea. And this, this, uh, there was this one, uh, summer man where the ticks outside of my house got super fucking bad. My buddy had to, like, mix up some poison shit and was fighting them off like John Goodman in the movie Arachnophobia. And I was, like, uh, you know, just grabbing the really big ones and just squishing the fuck out of them and they would just explode blood. That was, that was some scary ass war shit. Like I imagine that's how the Ukrainians feel. Those ticks were like the Russians just invading everything. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Speaking of war, man, atom bombs, hydrogen bombs, this shit's fucking crazy. Like 
They seem so overpowered. But all these countries right now just have these nuclear weapons and they're just waiting for someone else to strike first before they end up striking, you know? Uh, I trip out more thinking about chemical warfare, though, and how, like, that's not fair, right? Nowadays, I guess. Like, back when people were just using mustard gas and shit, and after a while, everyone was, like, dying super fast. and like, whoa, 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 okay, you know, that's not totally fair. So we're all going to sign a treaty saying we can kill each other however we want, except no chemicals allowed. And, like, it's war for a reason, bro, right? Like, there are no rules in war. In, in, in like no rules in love and war is that isn't that the saying right that reminds me about the story from the bible about uh samson and delilah where samson had like superhuman strength given to him from god and he would always have it as long as he didn't cut his hair but the guys that wanted to fuck with samson got this whore delilah to get close to him and when she slept with him uh she cut, cut off all his hair while he was asleep and he lost all his strength and when the people that were hating on him caught up to him they cut his eyes out and chained him up and you know that dude samson like prayed to god like oh man help me break out of this get my revenge on that stupid bitch and god was like yeah man i got you i got you and samson got his strength back and broke those chains like nothing it was even without his eyes uh when killed the guys that fucking captured him and smacked that bitch up like he killed her he fucking killed the fuck out of her and if you're wondering why i'm telling that story Honestly, there's no real reason. I just really like that story because it reminds me of how you just can't trust women. Also, that one story about when everyone's leaving like the city of Saddam and was it Sodom? And that one dude is telling everyone to not look back and some dumb bitch turns back and then just becomes a pillar of salt. Like he fucking told you not to look back and the one thing you do is look back. Whatever, whatever. Ooh, I fall apart. Lastly, I I saw... um, some news article saying a Norwegian uh, filmmaker, well, she was female, right? Uh, it doesn't matter, whatever, posted on the Facebook that men cannot be lesbians and is facing up to three years in prison for what is called in those laws hate speech. And I mean, uh, is saying a fact become hate speech? Like, I'm pretty sure men can't be lesbians. Like, think of it literally, right? If a man were a lesbian, then he would like women and men are typically supposed to like women so that's just like taking extra steps to say you like a woman like it becomes redundant at that point so yeah i don't see i don't see that as hate as all it's it's just a fact like i wouldn't even go as far to i I would go as far as say that's a scientific fact so yeah like i hope this norwegian woman filmmaker makes it through this through this through this gotta get through this I gotta get through this, gotta make, gotta make, gotta make it through, yeah, I gotta get through this. You know that song, Daniel Bedingfield? Dude, that shit goes hard, it's got that badass, like, and then, uh, if you hear, like, the, the fucking vocals in the background of it, it has them, like, uh, 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 like, straight up, I'm not making that up, you could, like, like, jam out to the song Gotta Get Through This by Daniel Benningfield. It's a nice, short, three-minute song. Shit goes fucking hard. It pumps you up. It it gives you, like, a good, like, oh, man, I am going to get through this. But then you hear it. It's like, uh, 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 uh. Like, the fucking home improvement. Like, uh, like, like <laughs> that shit. Oh, man. Home improvement was pretty good. That was a good show. I think it fell down, though, when Jonathan Taylor Thomas left the show, though. But yeah, that's that's another speaking of that's another show. Hey, uh, the YouTube's kind of growing, so thank y'all for liking and commenting and all that other gay shit that I tell you to do. Uh, yeah, th- like I keep hearing good feedback, and I'm not used to it because you know I hate myself. But yeah, thank you, thank you, and you and you. And I don't know, do y'all think I should do like some sort of Patreon shit? Like what other shit? What other shit do y'all want to see? from me i'm asking you the fans i know if this like new therapist i'm with helps me feel like less afraid and you know stops the voices and shit i'll i'll do other random content for 2023 i don't really care you know so yeah let me know on the youtube or on the twitter you can find me at lorenzo Ariola. if you you don't already know ask a 
ask any of your potato friends and yeah be careful posting facts on social media because you could probably get arrested and stay away from ticks and old ladies offering you lemonade that shit's fucking scary thanks y'all and take care bye